OK, so we start this problem by looking at the amount he saves in pounds after one year, two years, three years, and we're going to work all the way up to n years. And I'm going to look for a pattern in my uh, series. So after one year, the amount he's going to save, well, he puts in 500 pounds, and throughout the year it accumulates 3.5%. So by the end of the year, we would multiply this by the factor 1.035. Now the secret, as I say, in doing these questions is never to work these things out. Otherwise you'll just destroy the pattern. So we go on now to the amount in the second year that he will get. So he puts in £500 and this is added to the amount that he had at the end of the first year. So remember he had 500 I'll just put that in brackets rather than keep multiplying, putting multiplying signs in. So that's the amount he now has at the beginning of the second year and throughout the year it's going to accumulate 3.5% so if we multiply this by 1.035 we'll have the amount in his account at the end of the second year. And if I expand this out, okay, I'm going to have 500 times 1.035 so I have 500 times 1.035 and then the second term will be 500 times 1.035 all squared. Okay, now we come on to the third year. And in the third year, he puts in another 500 pounds, and that's added to this amount here, and that will give us his initial total at the beginning of the third year. So that we'll copy all of that out again. Okay, plus 500 times 1.035 squared. Okay, so put that in brackets. That's the amount then that he has at the beginning of the year, the third year. Throughout the year again, it accumulates 3.5% interest. So if we multiply this now by 1.035, it will tell us the final amount in the account after three years. And if we expand this bracket, 500 times the 1.035, we'll have 500 times 1.035, okay, plus 500 times 1.035 squared, and plus 500 times 1.035. 035 cubed. Now if I look at this pattern structure it does seem to suggest that on the fourth year I will end up with 500 times 1.035 plus 500 times 1.035 squared plus 500 times 1.035 to the 3 plus 500 times 1.035 to the power 4. In fact if I keep this going to the nth year okay the amount in my account will be 500 then times 1.035 plus 500 times 1.035 squared and then 500 times 1.035 cubed and so on all the way up to 500 times 1.035 to the power n. Okay so we've got that and what I can do with this is just simply factorise it and we have that we get 500 big square bracket say and we have 1.035 plus 1.035 to the power 2 plus and so on all the way up to 1.035 to the power n. Right. Now Inside this square bracket, what I've got is a geometric series. A geometric series because on each term I keep multiplying by a common value called the common ratio. And in this case it's 1.035. So I have got a geometric progression. And we should know this particular information about geometric progressions. We should know what the sum of the first n terms are. It's given by A, the first term, which in this case is 1.035, times the common ratio, which again is 1.035, to the power n minus 1, all divided by the common ratio R minus 1.
Okay, that's the formula I'm going to use now. So if I just move that up a little, okay, keep that on the screen there. So what we've got is that this equals 500 at the front, and inside this square bracket, this is going to be the sum of the first n terms. So according to the formula, it's a, which is 1.035, so I'll just put that there as 1.035, multiplied by the common ratio, let's put that in brackets there, the common ratio, remember, was also 1.035, and that's to the power n minus the 1, okay, all over the common ratio minus 1. So 1.035 minus 1 is 0 0.035. Now, we're told that this amount, this is the amount he has saved by, uh, or after n years. Okay, and we've got to find out what n is if this amount is more than 20,000. So I'm going to say that this amount has got to be greater than or equal to 20,000. 20,000 pounds. And to solve this inequality, what I'm going to do is now divide both sides by 500. And if I divide both sides by 500, I end up with 1.035 multiply by the 1.035 to the power n minus 1 all over 0 0.035 and that is greater than or equal to 20,000 divided by 500 which is 40. Next I'm going to get rid of the 0 0.035 by multiplying both sides by 0 0.035 and at the same time dividing by 1.035 and what that leaves me with is the 1.035 to the power n minus 1 the bit in the brackets is greater than or equal to well, 40 times 0 0.035 divided by 1.035 gives me a total of 1.3526 and so on just do that on your calculator you should be able to check that that's right Next, just going to add 1 to both sides, so we end up with 1.035 to the power n is greater than or equal to 2.3526, and so on. Now, to solve this equation where n is the power, I'm going to use logs. So I take logs to both sides, I can do logs in base 10, or natural logs, it doesn't matter. So we've got 1.035, I'm doing logs in base 10 here is greater than or equal to the log in base 10 of 2.3526 and so on. And we can now use the power rule for logs which is to bring the power out to the front so we have n times the log of 1.035 is greater than or equal to the log of 2.3526 and so on. Okay, And then simply divide both sides by the log of 1.035 so that gives me n is greater than the log of 2.3526 and so on all divided by the log of 1.035 let's just move that up a little bit more and so if I do that on the calculator I find that I get n is greater than or equal to 24 Point eight six nine and so on. Now, obviously, n is an integer because it relates to the number of years, and so therefore, the smallest value that n can be would have to be twenty-five. So therefore, it's going to take twenty-five years in order to save twenty thousand pounds.